you know, you can go to YouTube right now and type in the search term psychological vaccination, which is, which is, a, which is a concept and a nudge technique, uh, which is being funded to the tune of tens of millions by the State Department, the DOD, and the National Science Foundation. And you can see these government-funded computational mad scientists on, for, the, for the purpose of censorship and stopping people from expressing populist political opinions. Uh, and literally, they, they say that the goal is behavioral modification and psychological inoculation against misinformation. And, and they, you know, they have all these different techniques for doing it, which involve basically weapons grade, they call it pre-bunking, but it's basically like the world's most um, indefensible form of straw manning. It's like, we know they're going to be exposed to these arguments and they're probably going to believe them because they're probably true. But so what we need Poison to do is, well. is before they hear them, we're going, to, we're going to expose them to a really stupid version of it. Yep. And we're going to force feed them the talking points to just to show all the ways that, that a little incomplete version of that is, once they've absorbed that, we give them the next part in the argument. We straw man the ever-loving hell out of that. We give them talking points for that. We put, they have this whole... Uh, concept called media literacy or digital literacy which is also getting tens of millions of dollars it's being rolled out in schools it's something called the sift method so that people don't even do critical thinking they just sift through the top 10 result results of google and, and wikipedia i mean they're basically training we, a population we, we, research. but, but we I, I just want to add this really quickly mainstream. because, because another way that they reinforce this is they have bots and sock puppet accounts that reinforce these particular ideas to gaslight people to believing something that they wouldn't naturally believe themselves because they're thinking and seeing on social media everyone else likes this everyone Yep. else thinks this way and that's how they manipulate the conversation right. as the, well as also creating fake ideas that are crazy conspiracy theories in order to destroy an argument before it's even made and we'll see in say like the new york times as you pointed out the stupidest version of a story someone on the uh, on the right typically it's how it goes will say something like you know donald trump pro uh, was proposing congress pass a bill that would fund x amount of dollars then the new york times will write it is the stupidest idea in the world that we would have Donald Trump fund X plus Y amount of dollars. They add something slightly to it, which alters the idea. They find the stupidest iteration. They find stupid people on Twitter or they fabricate the tweets themselves. And then you'll have something like conservatives are defending Donald Trump having, you know, kicked a dog. And then it'll be some random accounts with no followers yep. saying Trump should kick dogs. And you're like, what, 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 who are these people? Then when it comes out that there's a bill being passed, like end dog fighting or something, the average person has already been exposed to a fake version of the story, and they believe the fake version. That's why Ian brought this up yesterday. He said as soon as he saw one story came out, he knew he immediately had to call his mom and stop her and tell her what was going on before she saw the fake news. Well, that's exactly it. Every single operative in the field of mis- and disinformation studies starts from a first premise, and they talk about this so openly, that if people are exposed to misinformation flush, if it, if it hits them full on and there's not an intervention or, or some sort of, of filter or some sort, I mean, this is the whole reason that they started doing fact check affixing to social media posts so that there was some sort of annotation so that you never got the opposing side's argument flush. It never landed completely because there was some way to add friction to it or some way that there was, you know, a, a ghost in the machine essentially telling you that's not really true, even though you're reading it with your own eyes. And this is now a technique rolled out at, at every level, and it's getting so much funding. I mean, it's it's if North Korea did this, we would we would be shocked at even North Korea's techn technological prowess to achieve that kind of Orwellian. You know, it's not even post truth; we, it's it's post brain power. So debunking, yep. obviously, so many people know that debunking is usually fake. They do this thing where they're like, "This story's been debunked," and they don't even say that there's no fact checking, there's no evidence. One day, someone will say, Joe Biden did thing. And the media will say, debunked. Yep. And then it's like, how? Where's your evidence? And they'll just say, oh, that story's been debunked. They, mm -hmm. they, they, will, they will write every article saying, and the theory pushed by, pushed by Republicans, comma, which has been debunked, comma, and it works. People are, there's many stupid people who fall for it. Yeah, yeah I mean, absolutely. I mean, this is not, this is not just them trying to, to lie to the American people. It gets, it gets much bigger and much deeper than this. This is the promotion of mass uh, hypnosis. This is the promotion of, of psychological warfare that's being waged on the American people without their consent to deny them the truth and the reality that they live in every single day. It's to preserve power. It's to allow the government to do whatever they want with you. But if you dare to question what they did or, or an incident 
incident where they hurt people or where they screwed people over or where they took your money or when they robbed you. You can't even dare to question or ask about it because you're going to have this artificial intelligence, psychological warfare and, and emotional manipulation gaslighting on your butt like white on rice saying, no, you're a crazy conspiracy theorist. You need to be denied access to speech. You need to be downranked in the algorithm. And usually you are, which is absolutely freaking crazy.